oil painting paper, which I didn't know existed. I'm super excited to try this out. I can't, I can't get a word out. I'm gonna have to explain this later. <laughs> I'm gonna do a small olive crema painting. Here is my palette. I'm Jennifer Marie Kellett. Welcome to my Diary of an Artist. I just got back from the art store with Jude. There he is. And we found something that I'm super excited about oil painting paper, which I didn't know existed. I know you can paint on oil, but I thought that you'd have to prime it and all that, but this already comes primed and ready to go. So I'm super excited to try this out. So this is the Strathmore oil painting pad. It's got, as you can see the texture on it, a linen like texture to it, even though it's paper. But someone in the suggestions or someone in the comments said how they had a teacher that said like a good idea was to do a quick, like 30 minute warm up painting that's just fast and simple. And I <laughs> He's having fun. Um, and I wanna do something kind of similar to that because uh, this Sirens painting, which I, I just need to put on the back burner for right now. Definitely wanna finish it, still super cute. <laughs> Juno, he likes to talk when everyone else is talking and try and like match their cadence. This is gonna be madness trying to shoot a video. <laughs> I can't, I can't get a word out. I'm gonna have to explain this later. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> it's the next day, Jude is napping. So I'm taking a break from the sirens painting for a little bit. It might just be a day, I don't know, or it might be a month, <laughs> but I feel like the last month working on it has just been, it's three figures and it's just kind of too intimidating to work on right now with a baby because I, I get such small work windows to work on it that it just seems like, oh, I don't know, too intimidating. So that's why I'm going to do a small Ola Prima painting and just have fun and just get something out and finish it. That's going to feel really good. just wrapped up this painting and the sun is setting now so I'm trying to wrap this up too but this is my fun little painting so this isn't a true a la prima painting because as you can see at the start of it my outfit change or at least I think my outfit changes unless I'm wearing the same thing I did before but uh it's definitely all in the a la prima style I started it and just as it turns out, I had something come up that I had to attend to and then my baby wasn't feeling well that day, so it just didn't happen. 
So I uh, spent another session on it another day. And so this oil painting paper is nice. Nice for these, these quick little things for sure. I really, I really like it. I think I did some experimenting with this painting. Like you can see, I've got kind of a design in the background. Like this is obviously more realistic and then like this weird design in the background, like these, these bees. I don't really know why I put bees in it, maybe because it's a golden painting and bees are yellow. Um, I don't know. Also, I like bees a lot, a lot. I like kind of what they symbolize like hard workingness and then maybe like have a beer at the end of the day after that, I don't know. One thing I did notice, so when I started it and then I had to stop and I couldn't paint on it for the rest of the day, um, it was one day later, the background, which is titanium white and ultramarine blue, was dry, which is very strange because that usually stays wet for a long time when I'm using those colors. So it's paper, but it's primed and everything. So, and whatever is primed with is more absorbent than what I'm used to using. So with paper and you working on something quick, it's, that was nice that it was, it was dry. Some other parts weren't though, like the, the yellow parts of the bottle were still kind of like that in between wet and dry. But what was interesting was the parts that were dry, that blue background stayed glossy and things didn't sink in like how I'm used to having when I when I paint. So I, yeah, I'm interesting to see it all dry and see how the paint dries on the paper and see what that looks like. And then here is my palette. So this was a lot of brush mixing on the palette, not using a palette knife too much. And then the brushes that I used. And when I'm working on a longer painting, I'll use a lot of stiff bristle brushes, but I guess for this a la prima thing, these are more in between and kind of softer brushes. So I'm very pleased with this. It feels good to start something and finish it really quick. And like the result, I like the result, so that's great. I think I'm gonna do more of these fast paintings because it feels good to do them and then keep my longer process paintings that take weeks or months to finish, keep that going on in the background. But I like this. And I think I'm gonna learn a lot too with this a la prima painting.